Hi, everyone, and welcome. Eagles insider Dave Spadaro along with the Hall of Famer Brian Westbrook. It's time for Self Scout, presented by Golden Nugget Jewelers, where Philly gets engaged. And, Brian, as we look back to Sunday, perhaps briefly, and we talk more of the big picture, Eagles in New Orleans not engaged at all offensively. Mm -hmm. uh, a low point for the Eagles, for Doug Peterson, for Carson Wentz. As you reviewed it, as you had your had a chance to clear your mind, what did you see from the offense? Well, I think it starts with the mindset. The mindset going into the game was that offensively, we know what they're going to do. We they know we know that they're going to score a lot of points. We know that offensively, we have to go out there and score every single possession, especially touchdowns. And if we have to settle for three, we have to do that. Uh, this week, we just didn't see. Uh, great accuracy from Carson Wentz. We didn't see great protection at times from the offensive line. And then from our wide receivers, we didn't see that separation that we need. And when you combine all those things together, uh, it bodes badly for a football team that was in a desperate need for a win. I, I don't even really know where to take this conversation mm -hmm. because everything was bad yeah. offensively, other than Josh Adams, who had a nice 28-yard touchdown run. Yeah. We'll talk about that. But I'd like to start, I guess, with number 11 and Carson Wentz. And the big question here for everybody to consider, Carson Wentz, was this a significant step back for him? And when you look at his performance over the course of the season, entering the game, 15 touchdown passes, three interceptions, great progress statistically, but there's just something that's not there with Carson that was there last year, Brian. And on Sunday, everything fell apart. Rushing, poor mechanics, not stepping into throws. Yeah. Uh, Looked frustrated, obviously. Well, all those things affect your accuracy. And it's times in my career that when my mechanics, my fundamentals were off, it was because of some of the injuries that I had. But it was also because I wasn't focusing on those things. I was worried about outside things. And I think Carson has to drill down for him, in his case in particular, to what made him successful. What made Carson Wentz very successful last year? And it was because he was very accurate. They had great protection around him. His fundamentals, the small things, and that starts in practice, were very, very good. Right now, all those small things are not very good for Carson. He has to drill back down, get refocused, and that's, that's where I would start with him. Do you think he's pressing? You know, when you play somebody like Drew Brees, you no try pressure. to score 21 points mm -hmm. every time you throw the football. In, in Carson's mind, the course of the season coming back from the ACL injury, is he trying to do too much? Yeah. I mean, he has a heavy load to bear. You're the starting quarterback of a Super Bowl caliber team, but you didn't play in the Super Bowl last year. And so I think Carson certainly is trying to press. He's trying to win football games all by himself. It's partly Doug's job. It's also the guys around him have to understand, we have to take some load off of you. I, I, I never forget, there was games where Donovan just won by himself. And that, that means I was in the backfield. We had a great offensive line. We had pretty good receivers. But Donovan did everything by himself his arm but when we were very good we had guys that took the load off of Donovan and said you don't have to win the game all by yourself that's what Carson has to continue to find unfortunately due to some injuries different situations they don't have a lot of guys around him that can do that yeah and, and the decision making throwing yeah. the ball down the field into cover these are things that we just didn't see from Carson yeah. in years past trying to go for the home run instead of just checking it down or running yeah, yeah getting greedy it's interesting is there anything to build on with this offense based on what you saw Sunday you know it's it's not a bunch to build on. I think Josh Adams certainly is something that you can build on, a guy that you can hand the ball to. He can do a lot of different things. I, I like the way he runs the football. He's not going to get a lot of opportunities here uh, in this offense. But I, I think what you can build on is you had an opportunity to stand on the other sideline from a an, an Hall of Famer, Drew Brees, a, a type of quarterback that Carson absolutely has to be for us to get where we want to go as a franchise. He has to be accurate. He has to be able, able to carry a football team. And then you have to build around him. Sean Payton, Payton did a great job of designing plays, putting guys in the right way, the right position. And we talk about the defense, we'll talk about this, but those guys, receiving core in particular, they went up and made plays. We have to find some guys that can do that across the board. It's interesting, Brian. If you step back and think about this offense from 2017 to 2018, and I told you that you'd be returning nine starters, mm -hmm. right, which mm -hmm. the Eagles have, and you'd be adding Golden Tate, yeah. you'd say, okay, let's go to war with that offense. Yeah. And yet we're at a point now with six games to go where the offense – is kind of starting from scratch, it feels like, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it? So how much can a coach really change in one week? What does Doug Peterson do, not panicking, but getting ready to beat the Giants? Well, it's hard to change the mindset in, in the course of one week. But what you can say is that, listen, guys, we're going to shrink everything down. 
we have a playbook that has 3,000 plays in it. We're only going to practice 100 plays, and we're going to be the best at these 100 plays. We can't have any mistakes. I don't want any errors. I want Carson Wentz to be able to go through his progressions. First read's not there. Second read's not there. I'm not going to panic and throw the ball to my third read without looking. I'm going to go through my pro progression the proper way, and then if my third read isn't there, I'm going to run the football. You can't panic, and there's been situations in games where we just haven't looked like we've been prepared. And that's the one thing that scares me just a bit. Yeah, and you working in Dallas, Goddard has been an yeah, issue. Yeah. Nelson Aguilar, Golden Tim. I mean, there just have not been sustained drives, sustained success. Still some time here. The silver lining is that the NFC East, no matter what you think, is still within reach. It but is. the Eagles have to get hot. And I'll go back to that game at that time in 2008 when the Eagles 5-5-1. Five, five, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving night, Brian Westbrook goes ape. And has a big game, four touchdowns, I think, right? Yeah, it was a good game. And turn the season around, the Eagles go to the NFC well, Championship. But, but I'll tell you this. One thing that happened during that season was that the guys said, you know, things are not going our way. They're not, And I think we've, we've heard the Eagles players say things are not going our way, but we're going to do something different right now. We're not going to allow those same things to continue to happen week after week after week, and we can't win the war in the media. And I think that's what this team has to do. They have to buckle down. And there's a band of brothers. That's what they did last year. Yeah. A band of brothers that came together and said, we're not going to take it anymore. We're going to worry about the things that we can control and handle. And they went out there and handled business. We did that long ago. This is what, that's exactly what this team has to do. Well, it's time is running out. It starts on Sunday for the Eagles when the New York Giants, the really, really hot New York Giants with yes. two consecutive wins, are playing good football, come to town. The Eagles trying to catch up to the Washington Redskins and now the Dallas Cowboys in the NFC East. That is our self-scout, Brian Westbrook, Dave Spadaro, presented by Golden Nugget Jewelers, where Philly gets engaged.